So let's talk about using the print function in PHP to create web pages that are formatted for HTML. As we've talked about before, it's important to understand that when you use the print function that you're printing out essentially to a text file. So if you don't add in the formatting tags for HTML, then when somebody goes to to look at the web page that's been created, the formatting won't be there and it will probably look very odd. So whenever you're going to be using the print function and the person that's going to be consuming whatever the content is created is going to be using a web browser to, f to view the content that you add the HTML tags in. So let's with that, let's go over to the computer so I can show you how to add the HTML tags in for when you're using the print function in PHP. So this is a very simple script in PHP to create an unordered list using the print function. I also have a second script that uses the new line command within the print function. So this will, what will, this will show you is both how you can use HTML in order to format text so that it can be looked at through a web browser and how you can do things such as use the new line command so that you can format the source for the web page so that it's easier to look at. All you have to do, again, this is very simple, what you have to be thinking about using the print function is all, all the print function really does is it's automatically writing HTML code for you. So essentially what you do with the print function is you write the HTML code and then you just add print before that so that PHP will print out that HTML code for you. So with here, again, uh, we start with a simple web page. We have, we have the, the H1 tag, basically a title for the top, says PHP print example. We then call PHP with the PHP tag. And then the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to print double quotation marks, and then we're going to use the unordered list tag. So UL is for an unordered list. We close with double quotations, and then we end the line with a semicolon. So you're always going to have to remember that semicolon. We're just going to print again, again, double quotations, and then we're going to have the first list item in the unordered list. So we do LI, and then we're going to say print item 1, and then we're going to close the list item. So this will give us a bullet point for this particular item. Then we do double quotation marks, and then we do semicolon to end the line. We just continue to do that two more times. So again, list item, close list item, list item, close list item. And then what we do finally is we're going to do print, double quotation marks, and then we're going to close the unordered list. So we're going to close the UL tag, again, double quotation marks, and semicolon. So what this is doing is this is just simply printing out all of this HTML code onto the web page and then you're going to be able to view this through the web browser. And then finally we're going to close the PHP script. And then we're going to show you a different uh, script down here. This simply adds in the new line command. So PHP print with a new line example. It's the exact same code as up here. The only difference is at the end of each of these lines it's going to do a new line command and so it's going to write it in text as a new line. Now, if you want to see what the difference is, if we pull up the web page, what we can take a look at is this is the example. So this is the first example, PHP, print example, print item 1, print item 2, print item 3. So what we did is we had PHP actually print out that HTML code. Now, if you look at the, the new line command example, it looks exactly the same. And from a web browser perspective, it is exactly the same. Where the difference is, is if we go and we, and we take a look at the source code for this particular page, what we can see is when we simply use the new line function, it wrote everything out on a single line. So this is where we open the unordered list, and then we have the first item, then we have the second item, then we have the th third item, and then we close the unordered list. So, so the web browser can read this take those HTML tags and then format this in HTML. The problem is, is as you can see, this is very simple. This is three items in an unordered list. And if everything is simply printed out on one line, it can get very confusing to look at very quickly if you're trying to troubleshoot the code. Again, remember, when you start adding functions in, when we start connecting to databases, when we start doing a lot of cool, fancy things, if everything is just in one block and there's a problem, it can be difficult to figure out what 
what the problem is. Well, if you use the new line command, if you format the text that you're printing out, then it makes it easier to go through and troubleshoot and see what's going on. So when we do the H1, you know, print with the new line example, here what we can see is UL was printed on one line, then the first item was printed on one line, then the second item was printed on the next line, the third item was printed on the next line, and then the UL closes. So this is very easy to take a look at for the source code and see what's going on with the web page. Even though it does exactly what this does, the main point here is it's easier for a technician, it's easier for a fellow programmer to see what's happening. So if they need to modify things in the future or if they need to figure out what's going on with your code, it makes life a lot easier. So that's really all there is uh, to writing an HTML page with PHP. Essentially all you do is you use the print command with all the HTML tags as you normally would. What you have to be really thinking about with whether or not you use the new line command or not is do you think you're going to go back and ever have to take a look at the source for the web page to see if there's any problems or any issues. So that's all there is with uh, printing HTML formatting with the, the print function in PHP. Again, as I've talked about before, PHP is essentially the secretary for the web world. It sends information to databases or files, it pulls information from databases or files, and then you have to tell it how you want things to be formatted. Do you want things to be formatted for a simple text file, or do you want things to be formatted for a web page? If you want them to be formatted for a web page, all you have to do is go in and you have to tell it things like what tags to use, what CSS to use, a whole bunch of other stuff. But the important thing to understand is really, you just use print double quotation marks, and then everything past that is essentially the normal HTML or CSS or JavaScript or whatever code uh, that you would normally write. You can copy or paste or you can write it out, and then what will happen is when PHP is called, it will use the print function, it will then print that, the web browser will then interpret what's been printed, and then the web page will show up with whatever formatting. If you want it to be H1, if you want it to be H2, if you want it to be on multiple sentences or paragraphs or whatever that's all done with the HTML code. So that's really all there is uh, to formatting uh, an HTML page with uh, PHP's print function and that's why it matters.